were when we were children were in bondage under the elements of the world. See, when we were not born again, we were kept in bondage by the things of the world. We had no maturity. We were like the rest of the world. We, we didn't have discernment between the good and the evil. Our eyes had not been opened. But then in verse 4, notice he says, But when the fullness of time was come. See, it wasn't your time, it was God's time. What did he do? Notice, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. And you see, when God saw that man could not save himself, and even through the sacrificing of lambs and turtle doves and goats in the Old Testament times for 2,000 years, and the sprinkling of blood upon the mercy seat of God, even though the ritualism was made, and the Jew would sacrifice his lamb or kill the dove or turtle dove, whatever it would be. And then would take the blood and fillet it and give it to the priest. The blood was only a kofar, a covering for his sin. It wasn't permanently put away. It was only put away for a little bit. It was only a covering. But Jesus Christ in due time had to come and give himself as a sacrifice for the world. So that our sin would be put away once and for all. That's what Jesus Christ has done. He has come to redeem you and I. We are children of the Lord. We are free children of God. No longer bound by rules and regulations, but by grace we are saved through faith. And it's not of ourselves. It is the gift of God to you. A gift given to you freely. 